The four walls of this classroom have been empty since March. No children to sit in these little chairs, build these puzzles, or color pictures like these. Now, because of COVID-19, head teacher and owner of All's Wells Preschool in St. James, Sandra Allen, had to dismiss class until further notice. But no children to teach also means no incoming payments. When it was closed, it means I had to give people rebates because it was in the middle of the month and I had to give rebates because they didn't get the full month service. So that was tough. All the bills come in the same way. You still have rent. To, I haven't paid rent for this establishment since COVID. Sandra has worked as a preschool teacher for over 30 years. Three years ago, she was able to open her own school. For the first couple of years, it was more like was a settling process. So I now started to settle and say, okay, things would be improving and stuff like that. And COVID hit. Sandra says all she knows to do is be a preschool teacher and is unsure of how she would have survived if it wasn't for family and close friends. But she also worries for her employees, who she cannot support financially at the moment. We are on a, a thing here where we have an Anglican church. And they would call and say, um, well, listen now, we're going to give out a voucher or a basket. So I would put on the names of my employees, call them up and tell them the day that the distribu of the distribution so that they could go to get something. And I myself have been one of those persons. Sandra is also struggling with the emotional impact of not seeing her students every day. So when I come and I look at the names, I go through the file because the file is supposed to have pictures. She says the two to five year age group that she teaches will not allow for virtual classes, a format she did try. Parents, uh, some of them don't have the means. And then you're looking at the age group. They can't manipulate certain devices. Yes, they can get on mommy phone and pull up something if they see YouTube showing and, and pull up something, but they cannot manipulate the devices. Sandra says she does not know how she will manage for the next four months and is hoping schools are allowed to reopen in January. She is asking citizens to spare thought first. Carissa Lee, CNC3 News.